and welcome back to Saber Outdoors. My name, of course, is Mark Alexander, your wonderful host. And guys, today we are comparing apples to apples. So we are comparing a carpenter's hatchet to a regular hatchet. Guys, I know these are sold in a lot of places the same. Some people haven't ever seen a carpenter's hatchet. All the difference that I can quickly see is this carpenter's hatchet has a hammerhead on the back of it. Nice slick hammerhead rather than this one which has just the straight usual pommel. Um, other things that are a little bit different, this has a slightly more uniform handle so it feels decent both ways. <clears throat> this one is only really meant to uh, use as just a hatchet. You can see that handle has that bend to it. But uh, guys, I, the point of this video is to ask, is there any reason to buy one of these? Is a carpenter's hatchet so much better or so much worse than a regular plain old hatchet? And we are really doing apples to apples. You can see S-Wing, S-Wing. We're not, not comparing two different manufacturers. They both make this. But guys, I've got a series of tests we're gonna do. Let's get to them. All right, guys, let's see how these two chop against each other. I've got a piece of wood, oh, about an inch and a half around. Not a big piece, but uh, something you might run into cutting up firewood. But uh, it's big enough that you wouldn't be able just to break it over your knee or break, break it just with your bare hands. But I'm gonna put my phone on the ground I'm going to push my phone and time how quick it takes me to get through this with just my regular old hatchet. So, time. Well. Almost. There we are. We'll call that 26 seconds. So 26 seconds to get through this. So let's see how quick it ha does with the other one. Now keep in mind, this is the, mm, bug got my, this is the actual woodworking stuff. That other's just simply for chopping. So let's see how this do does. Let's get her phone right, get her block cleared off, and go. There it is. We'll call that 16 seconds. So 10 seconds faster for the hat, this hatchet versus the carpenter's hatchet versus the regular camping hatchet. So guys, let's see what else we can cut up. All right guys, so we're gonna try a second test. Got our piece of wood here. Got our regular camping hatchet here. Now we're going to put our piece of wood on the far side. There is a knot on this. So I think that will make this a little bit tough. But let's get it set just right and see how many whacks it takes to get through it with a regular camp hatchet. Guys, put down in the comment section how many whacks do you think? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Well, if you guessed one, you was wrong. But you can see it's dug in there real deep. Let's try another one. Not quite. Let's turn her over and hit it. Oh, deep, deep in there now. Whoop, she fell off. And I'll crack the thing off. Ooh, that hurt. All right, guys, let's give her one more good whack. Three. Four. Uh, I'm not hitting the mark too good. Five. And we'll take one, one off for there being a knot. And one off because I can't can't hit it good so we'll say three for that how's it do, do for one half well it either coming to or what this dude this stuff's hard seasoned wood it's not something you play with i might not even be able to get the stand guys this is hard stuff and that knot there it's tough to get through Turn it upside down and see if we can do any good with it. 
There she is. That is some tough, gnarled up wood. I mean, tell you. But, that was the camp hatchet. Do we think that the other's gonna do any better? Put down them comments. Let me know. Give me some communication, people. All right, here's your chance for, for you to make your guess. Three, two, one, two. Boom. Two shots. And it split the second one real good. Let me pick that other up from the other one. It's got the other half of that knot in it. See how it's got that knot? Let's see if it goes through this better. Pick the phone up for it. Crush it. Yeah, way better. Way better. Look at that. Gonna have to give it to the to the carpenter's hatchet. That thing is a beast. All right, guys, so this is kind of for you all that are like bushcrafters and things. I wanna see how well it's gonna do putting a point on a stick. So I've got my regular camp hatchet here. Let's put a point on this stick. This time, I'm just gonna kinda of go by feel because uh, this is delicate work and if you do it quickly, you're gonna end up boom and in trouble. So this is just gonna be kind of a subjective how I feel about this rather than a timed event. So let's, let's do our thing. Not bad. Carved it just fine. Felt good in the hand to carve. Felt really easy. You know, I was like, what, five, six max? Let's try something. Let's try it with the other hatchet and see if it's just as good. All right, guys, so we've got our other, other stick, our other hatchet. And uh, again, we're not doing this for any kind of fastness. We're just doing this as my subjective feel. And this is a little bit bigger around, but I don't think it's so different that we can really give it a, a point or not a point. But let's see how it does. Okay, so more swipes this glinted off so when i was hitting it it would deflect and glint glint off i didn't like that as well um that that was not as good as i was hoping for but uh but guys let's let's do something with our pointed sticks and see how i like that all right so what i'm gonna do I need these for a different video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually nail these to my chopping block. But I need something to nail with. So, ta-da! We're gonna see how these two differ nailing something into a piece of wood. Because this is a camping axe, camping hatchet. Is it able to do the nail job just as well as something a carpenter's hatchet would be made for? I don't know, but we'll find out in just a minute. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get our nail started on top of our block. Ow. Okay, she's good and started, I think. We're not measuring anything, we're just nailing a nail. Not bad, not bad. It does seem a little bit odd, but not bad. Let's put a second one in with it.
Okay, cool. So, yes, nails, nails just fine. It does feel a little bit odd to hold with this handle that sweeps back, but it did the job, and that's all I needed to do today. But guys, we're gonna get you on the other side, and I'm gonna put the other leg on. Guys, we're gonna get our thing here and do the same to it. Let's get the nail started. Well, that went through a lot easier. Now this one, I'm gonna have to kind of be at an odd angle to get it where I want. But I can get it there. Try not to hit you too much. Well guys, that felt a lot better, a lot more natural because of that straight handle. It didn't feel like I was, I could kind of figure out where I was like a regular hammer. But either one of these, if you're not careful, if you swing it back, you've got these edges coming at you. This was brand new, did not come with a, ha a uh, cover. This one did. So that's something to think about. All right, guys, so I'm gonna set this chopping block up. Now, I've got me a piece of wood over there for a third leg. Just give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get this set up without breaking my neck. And if I do, you'll be there to see it. It'll be great. It's content. Well, this is not gonna work. Cause I can already feel it trying to break on me. Actually, this limb is already broke. So, what do they say? Timber, timber. So let me get back to you in a minute with a little bit stronger leg. All right, so I'm working on building some more legs for this uh, throwing thing. I've cut me about halfway through this. I'm gonna see if I can chop this and split that part out so that I can have a decent leg. I'm using that Ego electric saw that I tested oh, a few months back. Description, there will it be. But uh, we're gonna take our uh, we're going to take one axe, do one hatchet, do one leg, and then the other hatchet, do the other leg. First up, we're going to try the camping hatchet. You're going to be at an odd angle, but it's going to be all right. Now, boys and girls, this is not for a beginner such as myself but here we are and this is what we're doing so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lay it right there I'm gonna chop at it right there see what I can do with it I'd be better to be real careful I can whack down on it no no I think my first plan was a better plan this is a reason why we are functional and not professional if we were professionals I'd know how to do this Maybe this is the answer. There. Good enough. 
So we've got our notch made. Let's try it with the other one. See if, uh, see if I do any better or if it's just that much of a struggle. So let's go grab our stuff. Kids don't do this at home. Maybe a little more. That'd be plenty. All right. Round two of this thing. Well guys, a lot more flat angle on this. But let's see if we can get the rest of it here. I thought we were done already. Now, I was doing so good. Okay, now maybe we're done. And again, nice flat angle on that. So guys, let's get it nailed to the side and see if I can lean this thing up without it crumbling. I'm gonna try the shorter of my two legs and see if that works better for me. That works all right. Let's check it. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. Well guys, let's see how these things throw. Let's see if they, great, awful. I know I'm awful, but let's see how they do. Now I'm standing even with the camera to try this. And I missed that one. Let us try again. And let us try a third time. No. Well, guys, you're probably safe around me with hatchets, at least throwing them at you. They'll probably hit you, but not the part that matters. But guys, let's grab them over here. And let's talk about them. All right, guys, so we've used both of our hatchets for a bunch of different things. We've cut cut limbs with them. We've, we've uh, split lumber with them. We've drove nails with them. We've made notches with them. We've done all kinds of stuff with these. We've even thrown them at wood. And I think we can come up with some conclusions. Now... If you're going to be doing carpentry work, demo work, this is where I'd go. This is where I'd go if I were camping. Yes, I know. Shocking. This glints off of wood that is undimensional, and it would be far better suited to the environment that it's designed for. You don't find this in the camping hatchets axe section of S-Wing. You find this in the roofing section. You find this in the camping section. This cuts far better on this wood that is rounded and uneven than this. This hammers nails and carves better than this does in my opinion. This is more comfortable to turn around and use as a hammer. This will work as a hammer. You saw it hammered nails just fine but it's not as comfortable to hammer nails with as this one. So if you're going camping, the camping hatchet. If you're doing carpentry demo work, especially demo work, this thing is great for demo work. Get one of these, a carpenter's hatchet. But guys, that's all there is to this video today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, and subscribe. 
We're trying to get a thousand subscribers so that Mark T. Alexander gets paid. Because I need that. I need that. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.